In this tutorial in Cyberlink PowerDirector, we're going to look at how to spin in still images of people who are key in your production. I was asked by a subscriber to do this as they plan to begin their video by spinning in the key individuals who were part of that production, introducing them on the screen by spinning in their images. Well, I don't have the people, but I'm going to use some pictures of cats as an illustration in this particular case. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to, let's start with a just a color board. We'll put on the background. So I'll go to my color board content. Let's pick something in the light blue area and just drag this on the screen and stretch it out for a bit. Now I have a background. Now let's take my first subject. We'll go back to our media options here. Go to media content. Uh, we'll take this image here and the first one we'll drag and drop it down. So I want this to spin on the screen and then fill the screen. This is my first actor, producer, whatever. So all I need to do is add a couple transitions. I'll go to my transition room and then I'll go down to the one in the S category here which is spiral. And I'll take and I'll drag and I'll drop that just onto one end of this picture. I don't need it between two items. I can actually start with it. And then we're going to close this one. I'll let that be two seconds in this five second clip. And then we'll go up to the fade area here. They're alphabetical. And end it with a fade, only I'm going to change the duration by highlighting it, clicking on the duration, and changing that simply to one second. So it'll fade out quickly. So my first item, my first character, if you will, if I click on the movie here, it will spin in and cover the screen and then fade out. Let's take another one. Now here, in this case, I don't want to put them on the same track because I won't use this transition between the two. So I'm going to take my next image. We'll go back to that area here. We'll take the second cat we have here and we'll just line it up behind it. And now with that one selected, what I'm going to do is go back to my transition room here again and we'll go down alphabetically to my spiral. We'll put transition on the front end here and we'll end it with a with a fade here on the end. And again, we'll reduce the size to a second. And then we'll show you how, how it works with two of them here. We'll simply play this. The first one comes in. Okay, and then the second one comes in. And we'll do that with a couple more, but we'll uh, We'll also give them a name here. So let's take our uh, title, go to our title room. I'll take a title here. We'll drop it down. And we will um, make it smaller. And so this will be a title for my first one in the track above. And we'll give this a name, maybe this uh, Title is Harvey Jones. Okay, so I have that here. Let's make it, um, let's make it, oh, let's make it black. Okay, and then we'll give it a uh, border. We'll give it a white border. Go from blue to white. All right, now I have a title here. Okay, so that's Harvey Jones. Then we can take this here, right click, and we can copy it. We'll go down to the next track, uh, move about this location here after the swirl in, and, on the, and we'll do a paste. And we want to overwrite, there's nothing to overwrite. And so we'll double click on this one, and this is another actor or person of interest. And this will be Sally uh, Rogers. There we go. We'll click on this. And now I have my second person swirling in. I'm going to pause and add a couple more so you can see the full effect. 
So now we'll go back and we'll play the clip. I had added two more uh, potential people that we want at the front end of our movie. There's our number one coming in. And it hangs on for a couple of seconds. There's our actor, director, whatever, number two that we want to highlight. Here comes number three. And then we have, last but not least, number four. And then we move right after that, fades right into our main production. So this is a way to accomplish that task by simply using some still images and a transition on the end of each one, but not on the same track.